hi good morning all today we are going to discuss about the hydrogen fuel cell batteries and their electrochemistry and what are the issues that are there in fuel cell so coming to basically an hydrogen fuel cell so it is also like a normal battery it is going to have a positive electrode and it is going to have an negative electrode and it is going to have the hydrogen at positive electrode and it is going to have and this hydrogen is going to split as a four hydrogen molecules so you can see the weight here the weight is four but the weight is two here that's why i'm writing two here to balance the weight and these two hydrogen atoms are going to release four electrons and they are going to develop output energy so this output energy is like an a high voltage at positive terminal and low voltage at negative it indirectly will generate the voltage if you want to find the current i let us assume we are connected to a load of 1 ohm therefore current i is equal to v minus 0 by r so let us assume that 10 volts is the generated voltage from the fuel cell 10 minus 0 by 1 ohm the four current i is equal to 10 amperes this very simple calculation to understand how the energy is converted into voltage as a source and therefore it is nothing but current so this is what's happening at positive electrode and at negative electrode we have an oxygen molecules which will try to consume this four electrons is nothing but plus four electrons and consume this hydrogen molecule which is a 4h plus and leads to here so an output by product of h2o okay so when you see here so here we have four hydrogen here we have two hydrogen so i'm scaling two times i mean nothing but therefore the total hydrogen molecules is two twos are four and oxygen molecules is two here when you see here here also we have hydrogen as 4 and oxygen as 2 molecules i can say that the equation is balanced so i am going to define these two as the inputs to an fuel cell and we are going to define these all as the outputs of an fuel cell so see this fuel cell so what is the input input is hydrogen and one more input is oxygen i can call these two as the inputs of an hydrogen fuel cell the output is here we have energy and heat also is generated okay so we have electric energy or electricity and output is water and next one is also heat so here the heat we need to it will be generated will be around 80 degrees to 200 degree celsius okay so this all the inputs to an fuel cell and this is the outputs of an fuel cell so i already discussed at positive okay so this positive is nothing but the anode what's happening at the anode the process is like this it develops uh, two hydrogen molecules but here i'm showing as four just as i multiply with two times so it develops proton h plus molecules and it develops output electrons and the input is nothing but hydrogen the issue here is we don't know how to generate hydrogen and the next output is i'm going to see the output we are going to have the oxygen is half of the weight and we are all consuming this two hydrogen and two electrons we are going to have the reaction is nothing but h2o it is considered as half reaction here we are considering it as a full reaction okay that's what's happening in an hydrogen fuel cell okay so that's how an hydrogen fuel cell works so coming to the concept here so here we have the hydrogen fuel cell as already we discussed here so here we have the input is nothing but hydrogen so hydrogen is the one input and oxygen is nothing but like uh, is directly available in the air so this is nothing but the anode and this is nothing but the cathode okay so in between oxygen gets penetrated in between this and we have the hydrogen molecule here and we have the oxygen molecule here automatically the output is nothing but is connected to an 
charge controller which develops the voltage and this voltage may be like varying in nature to we have an variable kind of voltage to make this voltage as a constant we are supplying this voltage to an battery so in between this we require some sort of a uh, voltage regulator okay we call it as a mag, uh, voltage controller or voltage regulator and output is connected to the battery and output of the battery we are going to directly connect to an a dc load which is nothing but uh, electric vehicle motor so this is how a fuel cell works okay so i think the things are very clear and hydrogen fuel cell has an input of hydrogen and oxygen output as electricity water as well as the heat and this is what these equations okay here you can see here these equations involve the output as electricity and these equations are basically from chemistry that's why these equations are called electrochemistry okay we call this a uh, equations as electrochemistry in the exam it will ask you what is meant by electrochemistry explain the electrochemistry of an hydrogen fuel cell so this is all about the electrochemistry of an hydrogen fuel cell batteries and coming to the issues so what are the issues with the hydrogen fuel cells very very important to know the issues so before going to the issues let's try to confirm the inputs are hydrogen as well as oxygen the outputs are electricity water and heat what are the problems with the heat what are the problems with the water and what kind of output is available whether it is a constant output or variable output and where we get this hydrogen input and what are the problems with the hydrogen we'll discuss very detailedly which is very important to understand the concept of an fuel cell so this very very interesting concept to understand about fuel cell you can see here the output of this hydrogen fuel cell are available as an applications for an two wheeler application okay here you can see here we have a tank of hydrogen which is nothing but a hydrogen tank we have an tank of uh, oxygen it undergoes the uh, the recombination and the remaining energy stored in the output is using a voltage regulator or motor controller it is sent to the battery and the battery is going to run the wheel so it's very simple to understand we have hydrogen and this hydrogen is undergoing oxidization to lead to an electrical power so that electrical power is shown here okay so where you can understand in detail so this is what we practically we will pump so here how to pump this hydrogen okay so this pumping of hydrogen is done through an charging point like this and these are hydrogen fuel cell based two wheeler applications okay uh, this is the output of an hydrogen fuel cell now let us try to discuss about what are the issues in an hydrogen fuel cell okay which is very much important to understand okay issues of an hydrogen fuel cell so the main problem with hydrogen fuel cell is uh, so this is like uh, issues or what are the challenges we need to handle while you design an hydrogen fuel cell so first one is the cost of the hydrogen a vehicle okay so you can see this uh, vehicle this vehicle cost will be around uh, 10 lakhs okay approximately to 10 lakhs so the fuel cell are currently too expensive i mean the cost of hydrogen fuel cell is very costly it's very costly and then compared to the cost of electric vehicle and then compared to the cost of hybrid electric vehicle the fuel cell electric vehicles are too costly that's why uh, this is one of the drawback we have to understand this technology and we have to find a solution how to make it as more friendly to the customer second one water management so what is this uh, water management and where we get this water so it's very simple to understand i already discussed we have uh, the reaction like this okay so in this reaction you can understand what's happening here is uh, so here we have the inputs as well as the outputs as defined like this so here we have the inputs okay so the inputs are nothing but uh, 
hydrogen as well as the oxygen the output is nothing but what water that's why we need to perform something like a water management so what we have to do with this water so whether we have to send it to the air by heating or preheating it or what we have to do with this uh, output which is nothing but in the water form so that's why uh, we have to find how to solve the problems of the output water which is released from the fuel cell so third one is nothing but cooling okay so what is the need of this uh, cooling so we have hydrogen and oxygen when it undergoes a uh, chemical reaction it has generates uh, a lot of heat around 80 degrees to 200 degrees celsius uh, so where it consists of uh, and h plus ions okay so when you have this uh, proton ions as already discussed here so here we have this uh, hydrogen and we need to have this uh, proton electron this proton electron to be maintained we need to have an higher amount of temperature so that higher amount of temperature if you want to maintain so we need to maintain around 80 degrees to 200 degrees uh, so we need to perform some kind of management which is called as a, a thermal management so we need to perform a thermal management system or we have to design an thermal management system in a fuel cell to handle this temperature so which is very tough than compared to ic engines okay so that's why when it gets heated up we need to cool it down okay so that's how we have to maintain this thermal management in a fuel cell so fourth issue is nothing but from where we get this hydrogen supply okay so what are the issue with hydrogen supply and where we get this hydrogen supply okay so coming to here so how to get this uh, hydrogen or from where to get this hydrogen supply already discussed the input is nothing but hydrogen okay so we have the input as hydrogen the issue is hydrogen is uh, from where we get the hydrogen this is question mark okay so where hydrogen comes from this is a big question mark we don't know from where we get the hydrogen so we need to find some resources or some fuel cells where we get the hydrogen okay it's a big question mark okay and next one is uh, it's very not that much easy to transport hydrogen from one place to another place okay it's very difficult to store as well as transport the hydrogen so we cannot store hydrogen in one fixed place and we cannot transport the hydrogen from x position to y position so the hydrogen is very tough to store as well as to transport from one location to another location therefore storing is very tough as well as transportation is very tough and we don't know where we get the hydrogen it's like you no know, hectic things but the technology is upgraded and lively some two wheelers and four wheelers are available with the hydrogen okay so this are all the main limitation and basically this hydrogen is an eco friendly system so this hydrogen is an eco friendly liquid so it doesn't harm the environment that's why this is one of the best fuel cell okay so this is all about the hydrogen fuel cell so basically just you understand at positive electrode you have hydrogen at negative you have oxygen they undergo the recombination to generate the outputs as electricity which is used to connected to charge controller it try to convert the charge controller using an voltage regulator is nothing but the charge controller inbuilt has an voltage regulator okay so the variable voltages will be taken care by this uh, charge controller and it's con is connected to the battery and is connected to the load so here you have to understand this what the equations governing or the electrochemistry equations and this how the fuel cell generates the electricity and you can see the tank here this is oxygen tank and this is nothing but uh, hydrogen tank you have to fill it by a nearby charging station how we fill the petrol or diesel so this is the issues first one is this uh, fuel cell or technology is not so mature it's very, it's very costly and the water management so you can see here the output of the fuel cell is nothing but water what to do with this water what kind of management have to do on how to dispose this water how to preheat it and send it to the atmosphere is very big issue and coming to the cooling so 
already told if you want to store the hydrogen you have to maintain a temperature of 80 to 200 degrees we need to perform some sort of cooling methods where this cooling methods comes under thermal management system we need to perform some thermal management and we have to cool the system and the main issue with the hydrogen is we don't know from where we get the hydrogen and uh, it's not so easy to store the hydrogen and we cannot transport the hydrogen and basically this doesn't pollute much so this is all about the hydrogen we have the more detailed discussion regarding how this hydrogen fuel cell works this is all about the basic working principle and we have this thermodynamics is very very important and we don't have much videos on this so the thermodynamics behind a fuel cell very very important so it's very tough to understand why because it is concerned with more with mechanics i mean uh, heat transfer so we'll discuss if you feel this the content is really useful to you please give one like and share with your friends and if you have any doubts let me know in comment session and if you're watching our channel for the first time subscribe our channel and this is a free channel for the encouragement of students and please try to support this kind of a useful channel which where we can deliver the quality knowledge to you thank you for watching we'll meet in the next video regarding the thermodynamics of an fuel cell thank you for watching